top of the class on a roll. Hey, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mash down, put the pedal to the floor. Yeah, on a roll. Here we go, here we go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I want to show you guys an exchange that I've been using and absolutely loving and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Now this exchange has a lot of your favorite features that you love about the exchanges you already use, as well as some that a lot of exchanges don't have that are very, very interesting, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of these great tutorials or urgent market updates that we upload to the channel. Now the exchange we're gonna be going over today is called BitGet. Now, you might have heard of BitGet. It is one of the biggest up and coming exchanges and might be on its way to become a top dog. Now, like I said, BitGet has all of your favorite features that you love about all the exchanges that you already use, but there are some that a lot of exchanges don't have that I'm really, really enjoying, and I think you guys will as well. And if you guys want to try this exchange out alongside me, you can go ahead and use my link in the description down below and get zero fees on your spot trading. And it does help the channel out, so it's a win win situation. And hey, I got to keep that neon sign on somehow. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the computer here. I'm going to pull up BitGet, kind of run through all the features that it has, take a deeper dive into some of the features, and show you guys what I'm really starting to enjoy about this exchange and why I think it is one of the biggest up-and-comers in the space. Let's get into it. Now, here we are, guys, on BitGet. This is what the homepage looks like. Now, obviously, you would do have to create an account. And like I said, we do have that link in the description down below. But once you create an account, this is what you're going to see when you open the site. Now, you actually might see this. I don't know if it's white by default or in dark mode by default, but please, for the love of God, you're going to be staring at this a lot if you're trading. For the sake of your eyes, go ahead and turn on that dark mode or whatever you prefer. I'm just going to kind of run through here, guys, the basic basic features of the exchange and then I'm going to go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. Now, if you come up here, obviously you have buy crypto, you can deposit your crypto. You can click here and it will bring you to the deposit page where you can deposit Bitcoin, USDT, ETH, XRP, etc. So you do have your basic features here for depositing crypto. I don't think I have to dive too deep into that, but this is how you get your crypto onto this exchange from another exchange. And you have a bunch of different options here. You have express P2P trading with zero fees. You have your third party payment and your bank deposit. Now you will have to KYC to do a bank deposit, but if you're just depositing crypto, there is no KYC needed. I know a lot of people like to keep their privacy under control. If you come to our next tab, we have our futures tab. Now this is where I spend a lot of my time. As you guys know, I am a day trader and scalp trader, so I do spend a lot of time trading futures. Now they do have plenty of options here. You have USDTM futures, uh, settled in UST, you have futures settled in USDC, and you have coin futures, which are settled in the actual asset itself. You have your futures grid trading, which is basically like a leverage trading bot, very similar to some exchanges out there, as you guys are familiar with. And then this is one of my favorite things, especially when I'm talking to the candle mafia. I know a lot of people question, where do I start trading? How do I start trading if I don't know what I'm doing? And the easy answer here for me is to use something like a demo trading account. And in my opinion, BitGet has one of the best demo trading features out there. A lot of these paper trading platforms, they get really wonky and your money gets all messed up. You're up a million percent. Things are just glitchy. Um, but this one actually works very, very well on BitGet. And if you're a beginner trader out there, it's a really good way to get your feet wet, learning how to use the exchanges and making all of those beginner mistakes without actually risking any of your money. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the zero fee spot trading, this is one of the really cool things about this exchange. Um, it also offers zero fees on your spot grid trading, which again is like a spot grid trading bot with zero fees, which is absolutely awesome. And we're going to dive into these features a little bit more in depth in just a second. But first, I just want to give an overview of all the features that this exchange has to offer. Now, guys, before we continue this video, I do just want to warn you guys, obviously, at the time of this recording, we are in a bear market and we do have a lot of exchanges going insolvent and things have been a little bit sketchy out there. I just wanna take this time to give you guys a little bit of a public service announcement. 
I use BitGet personally, just like I personally use all of the exchanges that I show you guys. But I do just want to let you guys know you want to be very careful when depositing money onto these exchanges. You want to use good risk management and you don't want to be putting your life savings on these exchanges. As you guys know, we've seen some really reputable exchanges go down. It doesn't always mean they're scamming people, but things just happen in a bear market. So be very careful. Don't be putting your life savings on these exchanges and just know there is always risk involved when putting your money on any of these exchanges. So moving on here, we have markets. This is obviously just where you would come check the prices. You have Bitcoin up 2% on the day, ETH up 1%, Aptos up 3.9%, XRP up 2%. Obviously, uh, this is nice. You can keep an eye on the markets. And then if you wanted to trade any of these, you can go ahead and click that trade button. But we'll get deeper into that in just a minute. Now, another really cool feature of this exchange is right here. And that is the copy trading feature. And a lot of you guys might be like, wait, Frankie Candles, you always say, don't copy trade. It's a bad idea. You've never met a successful copy trader. And you're right. If it was that easy to just copy trade people and make a bazillion dollars, no one would have a job. Everybody would be doing it and the world would be a very fun place. So I do stand by that. I don't recommend copy trading people. I do like to push people to learn how to trade themselves and become a successful trader by their own right, not relying on somebody else's signals or just letting someone else trade for them. It typically doesn't go well. However, this is a really cool feature. And as long as you know that you're not going to put all your money into a copy trading account, this could be something fun that maybe you take a little bit of gambling money and you find someone you like their trades they have a high PL you want to give it a shot it's it's totally fine it's in good fun and obviously as long as you're using good risk management and you're aware that just because someone has made a thousand percent over the past 30 days does not mean that you're not going to get wrecked the next month right so so future results are not promised by past performance so again i stand by this i do not promote just copy trading but if you wanted to just have fun i just don't recommend using that as a strategy to make actual legitimate money consistently over time but if you want to try out these copy trading things they actually do work out pretty well and i will be making some content testing this copy trading strategy out and keeping you guys updated on the progress. And we will get into that a little bit deeper in just a second. Then you have your strategy trading, which is very interesting. We're not gonna get too much into this in this video, but maybe we'll make some more videos about that in the future. And then you have earn, uh, where you could take your crypto or USDT or whatever stable coin you have that might just be sitting in your spot account collecting dust you could go ahead and put that to use and gain some yield on those assets so you actually make money over time if it's just sitting there why not put it to work and then right here we just have their current trading competition which we are actually taking part of at the time of this recording hopefully the candle mafia and the bit squad can take home this dub now guys let's go ahead and dive a little deeper into some of these features now i'm gonna start off with futures now i'm gonna go ahead and just click on the usdtm futures here click on there and it will bring you to your futures trading platform and if you guys have been trading futures at all this will look very very familiar to you uh you know all these leverage trading platforms look about the same they have their own little unique things about them but for the most part this functions as any other futures exchange you might have used you have your limit orders your market orders and then you can go ahead and select your trailing stop loss if you wanted to set one but this basically functions like any other exchange if you wanted a limit order you click here if you want to just mark it in and just get into the market right away at the current price you would do market order and then limit orders will actually set an order at a certain price and when price gets up to that level it will trigger that order uh, but this is basic stuff so I'm not gonna go too deep into this pretty clean platform guys I love it in dark mode it looks pretty cool I like their colors that blue and the black is pretty cool uh, but yeah it, you know if you wanted to put in a trade here you could go ahead and use this slider to select what percentage of your account you wanted to trade with I don't recommend with trading much more than two or three percent of your account I like to keep it to one but if you're trading with a smaller amount of money I understand that might be a little bit harder uh, because if you're trading with one percent of a hundred dollars and you're trading with one dollar uh, it's gonna be really hard to grow that account with that small amount of money um but you know if you have a legitimate trading account that you've actually put a decent amount of money into i don't recommend with trading much more than one or two percent of your account on any trade 
but uh, it's nice because you could kind of just slide if you wanted to use 1% you could slide it to 1% and you could see the value is 0 0.004 Bitcoin uh, and then the cost would be about three dollars and 29 cents I don't have too much money in this account because it's just an example you know you could select what percentage you want to use and then you can either go long or go short and then up here you obviously have your leverage it is by default set to cross margin please be careful about this i don't recommend using cross margin it's a little bit tricky uh because a lot of these exchanges are set by default so if you're using an exchange for the first time you might want to make sure you come over and change this to isolated and go ahead and save it that way you're using isolated leverage and it will not pull money out of your actual account to cover your trades uh, and then you have these nice little shortcuts here if you want it to long 20x or short 20x. But if you click here and change your leverage, right, I usually recommend if you are newer, sticking bet from between, you know, 2 to 5x leverage if you're just starting. And if you're a real beginner, I don't even recommend using leverage at all. Uh, I, would per I would actually recommend just spot trading or trading with 1x. Uh, but... Uh, there you go you could use up to 125 x leverage which is pretty cool so there you go there is the leverage and then obviously same thing for short uh and then you could go ahead and put your trades in down here buy long sell short and then everything else is basically just your basic exchange and it works very similar to a lot of other platforms now one of the cool things about this exchange that i really really like is that it allows you to long and short the same coin at the same time one of the problems that i have when trading is I may want to hedge my bet a little bit if I'm not feeling too confident that price is definitely going to go up or definitely going to go down. Sometimes I like to hedge my bets, so I'll put a long in on one exchange and then a short in on another exchange with the proper stop losses set. So once one gets stopped out, uh, you know, and it continues to go in that direction, at least I have that other trade to collect the money on the way down or the way up. Uh, but it's kind of annoying, right? Because you got to put a long in over maybe over here and then put a short in over here to hedge the bet. Um, but BitGet actually lets you long and short the same coin at the same time so if you wanted to long and short bitcoin at the same time you could do it on the same platform all in one place which is super super cool and one of the features that i really really love about this platform and they do have a bunch of different options if you want to trade usdc pairs or what have you if you want to get settled in the actual asset uh they have tons of different options there the next thing i do want to show you guys is the demo trading feature you can go ahead and click that down here and i do believe they give you a little bit of free money to play around with so you could come here it's basically an exact replica of the futures trading platform we just looked at except you can see that it's sbtc which i believe stands for simulation btc or simulated btc and then you can also trade eth eos and xrp on the paper trading platform now this they will give you i think they maybe start you with three or five thousand dollars maybe in this case uh three thousand uh and it's just fake money right but it works just like the regular exchange and you can go ahead and put trades in so let's say we wanted to go ahead and switch this to isolated and let's just say we want a long 20x this is you know this is not a real trade obviously for an example we wanted to market in and uh we wanted to long bitcoin or simulated bitcoin with 20x leverage let's say we wanted to use a hundred bucks there it's actually about 90 bucks but just for the sake of this example uh you pick your leverage 20x make sure you're on market if you want to jump right into the position and you're on isolated that's very important uh and then you could go ahead and put in your long position you'll get this little uh brief here it tells you your open price is obviously whatever the market price is at that time current price right now is 16,091. the amount and then you have your margin and your liquidation price is about 15,300. and we're going to go ahead and hit confirm and see now you have your open position you could see here your long 20x on simulated bitcoin and then you have all of your information here that you typically get on other exchanges and then you can go ahead right here uh you have your position tpsl or your take profit and stop loss go ahead and get rid of that and there you go you can set your take profit and let's say you wanted a uh you wanted to set this to a hundred percent profit you wanted to double your money you can go ahead and select that there and then your stop loss you can go ahead and set here with a slider or you could go ahead and put in specific prices to set these levels at and that's how you set your take profit and your stop loss you could also click these buttons up here which basically opens the same exact 
window, and then you could set your trailing stop loss, which we're not gonna get into trailing stop losses right now. That's how you would set your normal take profit and stop loss. And then right here, they have a reversal button, which will actually, if you wanted to go ahead and swap from long to short, you could go ahead and click this reversal button and it will actually close your position at the current price and then re-enter you in the opposite direction with the same amount in that opposite trade and then flash close you would click this if you just wanted to immediately close your position and then also you could go ahead and set if you only wanted to close a portion of your trade you could go ahead and set a price that you wanted to close that portion at let's say just for an example easy math uh you know at 16,114, you wanted to take about 25 percent of your trade out you could go ahead and set that there and then you could see here your roe we're up about two percent on this trade and we only put 100 bucks in so we're only up about $1.87 uh, or $1.78 now, uh, but up 2%. I'm just going to go ahead and flash close this entire position. And uh, there you go. It gives you a little warning. And then you just go ahead and click it. And there you go. The position was closed. So this is a really, really good way if you don't want to risk your money and you want to kind of get your feet wet with an exchange and actually use all the real bells and whistles that the platform offers so you can get used to the platform and practice trading in a live real time market alongside the actual real market without risking any of your money this is one of the best ways to do it and trust me i've tried a lot of paper trading platforms out there and this one really really does top most of them so there you go we took a look at the futures we took a look at the paper trading platform now let's go ahead and click on spot trading now this is obviously where you would just buy your hodl bags uh you know if you wanted to just buy some bitcoin and hold it over time you would do it on the spot platform uh and then you know this obviously works just like any other exchange you can search for what whatever asset you want to buy. Let's say you want to buy some XRP. You could click XRP USDT or USDC or whatever pair you wanted to do. Uh, let's say USDT. You would go ahead here, and if you wanted to buy it, you would select how much you wanted to use to buy it. Uh, I only have $8 in this account right now, so you could buy $8 of XRP. Click buy, and you can go ahead and either select limit order or market order here. If you wanted to just jump into the market, you would do market order. But if you wanted to wait for price to hit a certain level before jumping in, uh, you can set your limit order here as well. It works just like any other exchange. Very smooth, very good looking. I'm not going to go through uh, the step-by-step step on how to buy crypto uh, because I think most of you know how to do that. I also have videos showing you how to do it, explaining what limit orders are and market orders are in more detail. Um, so definitely go check that video out if you need to learn about that. Um, but very, very smooth. Uh, and then obviously, if you wanted to sell XRP, you would come over here. I don't own any XRP on this platform right now, so I can't sell any. Pretty good. You have your order book here. You have your market trades popping up uh, as they come in right here. So pretty cool. And then you have your trading view chart if you wanted to draw some trend lines or what have you. Um, super, super powerful here. Or you could go back to the original chart. I recommend staying on trading view because those are the charts that I look at all the time. Super, super cool. And most of all, you get zero fees on your spot trades. So super, super cool. Uh, and then we could click on spot grid trading. Now this, I'm not gonna go too in depth on. I do have videos about this, uh, but basically spot grids are a way to have a bot trade for you. It basically buys on the way down. And then as price goes back up, it sells little bit by little bit in a grid, which is pretty, pretty cool. Maybe we'll make another video diving deeper into this feature, but this video is just to give you guys an overview of all the different features. So the fact that you have spot grid bots is pretty, pretty cool if you just wanted to test those out. Out. We took a look at markets and then let's actually go ahead and dive a little bit into this copy trading feature. Now with the copy trading, this is basically how it's going to pop up if this is your first time looking at it. And you can see here, here are all the different traders you have. You can see their ROI. This guy's up 61%. This guy's up 1600%. You can see their total P&L in dollar amounts, their assets under management, meaning, you know, how many people have money under this copy trader. Uh, this guy's actually got a decent bit of money under him and then it tells you their followers there is a limited amount of followers per person uh these are all 500 so these guys are locked out uh and then this guy is almost full but let's just go ahead and click on this eric crypto man uh and so we can take a little deeper look into this actual feature uh and you can see his roi is 61 percent 
His total PL is $92,000. So you can see some of his information here. He's up about 61%, up about uh, his whole trading PL is up about $92,731. And then right over here, you can see what he usually trades. And then you can see some of the assets traded right here. And then you scroll down and you can see the PL ratio. I recommend if you're looking to do this, uh, you would want to go ahead and select over the last month so you get a little bit more data. Uh, you know, otherwise, if you're just looking at the last seven days it could look like he's doing great and then you get wrecked uh but just so you guys know i just want to push this one more time i don't really promote copy trading it's not really a good way to become a successful trader i've never met a successful copy trader however if you're just looking to play around and just mess around with some money and try to grow it for fun and you're willing to lose that entire amount of money uh this could be a really cool feature to play around with i mean let's be honest this is going to be pretty fun to play with uh as long as you're not putting your whole trading account and just trusting some random guy in the internet to trade it for you please don't do that make sure you're using good risk management but you want to go ahead and select these over one month you can see his PL ratio uh, over the last month he's up about 61 percent and then total income you can see in the past month he's up about 92 grand uh, so that's pretty savage uh, and then right here you can kind of see what his split is as far as what assets he trades you can see he mostly trades ethereum uh, about 70 percent ethereum 25 percent bitcoin and then three percent alts uh, now this is really cool position duration um obviously uh I I would honestly actually change these uh, to one month as well. You could still see he's a majority ETH. Uh, he does trade mostly ETH and then the rest, uh, you know, altcoins and Bitcoin. And then if you go ahead and change this to one month as well, this is actually pretty nice because uh, this shows their profit and loss. And you could kind of see that he lets his uh, losses die and then his wins actually run up much, much higher. Uh, you could see a $4,000 loss here, but this win, uh, some of these wins up here are much, much bigger. So you could kind of keep an eye on his profit and loss on this chart right here. You could see these losses. Uh, you know, his, uh, his losses don't go down as low as his losses. Uh, you know, some of these losses are savage, $3,000 gone. Uh, but then if you come up here to the wins, these actually do, uh, you know, 31 K he lets his wins run a lot more than his losses. He cuts his losses way sooner than his wins, which is a good sign. Uh, and then you can see his trading volume down here. Super, super cool. Uh, and then you could go ahead and take a look at his orders and you could actually see all of his different trades. You could see he made 53% on this trade, 200% on this trade, and then minus 23%, minus 11, minus 16, minus eight, but then plus 9%, plus 31%. You could just see by looking at this, his wins are much bigger than his losses, which is definitely a good sign. And clearly he, uh, he likes 20 X leverage. It must be a sweet spot. Uh, and then you could take a look at his followers. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, his followers, you could actually check uh how much they're up as well so you can see here this guy's up 13 grand this guy's up 10 grand again i don't want this to sound like you're just going to give somebody your money and print 10 grand out of nowhere it's not impossible uh but you want to realize you're trusting someone else with your money so just don't give some random person on the internet all your money uh because they could totally lose it just understand that uh but you know again just for fun if you want to put a uh you know a risk managed amount of money in here that you're willing to lose and you just want to take a risk and see what someone could do with the money you know you could play with this for sure obviously uh we can't this guy is actually full i imagine because he has a really high win rate uh but if the person is not full, you could actually come here and filter uh, to hide all full users and then hit confirm. And then these guys are all people that you can actually follow. So let's say we wanted to go ahead. We check this guy out. We wanted to follow him. He's got one more spot. Uh, they give you a little bit. Uh, they give you a trade agreement here. We'll agree. And then you can actually select. Let's say we only wanted to copy his Bitcoin and XRP trades. You could go ahead and uncheck the rest of these coins. Uh, you know, if you didn't want to take part in any of his all Alt trades you could uncheck everything except for Bitcoin uh, and then you could go ahead and set how much money you want to go ahead and put in so this is where you would want to manage the risk if you say you have a three thousand dollar account I wouldn't recommend you know giving anybody more than you know a small percentage of that so say you wanted to throw maybe 200 bucks at this guy see what he could do with it and then if you lose it you still have a majority of your account left right so this is where your risk management comes into play and this next option is pretty cool because it allows you to manage your own risk in case this guy goes haywire and just starts degen trading 100x without stop losses you can actually set your own stop loss ratio and pull out of losing trades even before he does uh which is a really really cool feature because if 
if you want to, uh, you know, if someone just decides to, ch if they're winning a lot, right, because they're being conservative and smart about their trading, and then they just decide to go full degen mode and gamble, you can actually cut your losses if that guy goes haywire. You could tell, uh, you could set your stop loss and take profit ratios to be a little bit more conservative than they're being, which is super, super cool. And then once you set all that, you would go ahead and click next. You get this little window before you confirm it. I'm not going to confirm it, uh, but that is the copy trading feature. Super, super cool, uh, you know, just to kind of check out. Then you have your savings and your earn page, uh, which is basically where you can have your money that is just sitting in your main account, uh, just collecting dust you can have these assets actually earn you yield over time uh you just have to uh you know obviously the terms vary between coin to coin uh but you can see you could get eight percent apr on your usdt and then Bitcoin's a little less with 1%, ETH about 1.6%, USDC uh, two and a half percent almost, not too bad. You get 20% on AXS. Um, and then, you know, you could click subscribe here and then uh, please complete KYC. You obviously have to be KYC to do this. Uh, so if you wanted to not KYC, you won't be able to use this feature, but if you're interested, you just have to KYC and you could take advantage of these APRs, uh, which can be very, very cool, but obviously be very careful um, locking up your money on any platform. I want to be very clear about that. So guys, I think that's all the time I got for this video. Super, super cool exchange. I really, really am liking BitGet as I continue to test it out and play around with it. A uh, lot of really cool features. I love their paper trading account. I know a lot of the candle mafia are new to trading. They're just trying to understand how to long and short the market. This is a great place to play around with. Absolutely risk-free on that simulated trading, on that demo trading feature. And the fact that you could long and short the same coin at the same time saves me so much much headache and so much time i don't have to go bounce back and forth between different exchanges and and uh and two-factor authenticate and send this code here and then i'm gonna long over here setting the stop loss over there it gets very very messy and i just love that you could keep it on one platform and i just love how bitget allows you to keep all that on one platform keeping it nice and neat and uh making your trade management much much easier and don't forget guys if you want to sign up for bitget and test any of this stuff out click our link in the description down below and you'll help us keep that beautiful frank candles neon sign on and with all that being said guys that's all the time i got for this video i'll see you in the next one frankie candles out